okay, listen, I told Ben I could get in the story by 9 o'clock tonight. But dude, I have four other stories I have to write. Listen, the story about the governor's gonna hit big, okay? I'm telling you. All right? I gotta go. Bye. Well, hello, Alex. Hugo, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Take a seat. I'll explain. I... 
Yeah, so he, he just came out of nowhere. Honestly, I'm not even sure how we got in here. I just, I went down the hallway, it was dark, and he just jumped out at me. and He, he got me pretty good. I apologize for the gash. It was supposed to be quick and painless. You know, in all my time serving the greater Wilmington, Delaware area, I've had many patients, but I never liked one as much as I liked you. What are you talking about? Well, as you know, Alex, my brother and I built this dentistry from the ground up. You may ask yourself, Hugo, how do you build a dentistry in the Wilmington, Delaware area? How is it that I constantly get the biggest celebrities in the country to come to me? The answer is simple. Politics. Long before I moved here, Governor Leonard was involved in a major tax evasion scheme. My brother Tim, who was an actuary at the time, and a friend helped him out of it and cleared his name. This allowed him to win the election and to repay us. He now fully funds every expense from our company, allowing me to grow to the empire we are. Journalists like you, Schefter, and others like to dig for lies, try to deface the governor of this state, and I will do anything in my power to keep him in office, even if that requires me to go to these lengths of hiring someone to take care of it for me. I never lie. I base my stories on one thing, the truth, something you're obviously not familiar with. And to think I thought you had some integrity. Instead, you send some goon in here to try to kill me, instead of coming in here and taking care of it yourself like a man. You're pathetic. I never said I was afraid to get my hands dirty. 